Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be reading this book again. Okay. Um, by the way, if you haven't if you haven't watched my recent video, this 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 book is called Your Family Yourself: How to Analyze the Family System. Your family system to understand yourself and achieve more satisfying relationships with your loved ones. By William Levins. I'm pretty sure I spelled it. Or I, English. 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 I'm pretty sure I said his name right. Okay, so. Characteristics of the family system model. Family systems model. Hold on. I want to. I want to. I want to do this. Okay. Okay. Ignore my hair, please. Please kill the fire and no water. A system per perspective involves a new way of observing reality, rather than viewing an entity in terms. In terms of cause and effect, as well as individual functioning, a system's perspective focuses on wholeness, interaction, and circularity. Circularity, yeah. Consider the following as examples of system... systemic... thinking. The viewer and that which is viewed are two parts of a larger totality. Yeah, totality. Robert is hiking in the mountains. At a certain vantage point on his walk, he stops to admire the majestic view that unfolds before him. Robert acknowledges him to himself as the scenery is breathtaking. According to traditional thinking, he separates himself from the scenery. He is a separate individual viewing the scenery that is before him. From a system's perspective, however, Robert is part of the scenery. When you contrast yourself with the material world, you are likely to assume that you are separate from whatever is there. You are especially inclined to think this way if you are con if you conceive of your body as a separate this is a common assumption many people believe themselves to be encased encased in a body that separates them from everything else from a system's perspective however your body is a joiner not a separator. It joins you to to the world. Your senses join you to what is happening out there. Your nostrils, lungs, and circulatory system connect you to necessary or ox oxygen. Your feet link you to the ground on which you move. People die when... Okay, well, that took a big turn. People die when, when they are completely separated from the world and its environment. In actuality, there is a critical and necessary symbi symbi symbiotic no, no, oh, gosh, relationship between individuals and the whole. And the world that perpetuates the continuation of life your body joins you to this perspective process perceiving yourself as being inseparable inseparably sorry my english is terrible uh related to and dependent independent upon the natural world is systems of thinking. It, it sees 
she to exist separately. Me. Ugh. Entities seem to exist separately, but in reality, nothing exists solely by itself. Everything is inseparately by or related in so to something else and achieves its identity from the relationships. Relationship thinking about a red apple for a moment. The outside is covered by thin red skin. The inside is composed of white pulp. In order to penetrate the inside of the apple, you use a knife to cut the apple in half. Now you've exposed the in oh my god. Okay, now you've exposed the inside, right? Wrong. No. Now you see the outside that's in Now you see the outside that's inside. What? Cutting the apple does not uncover the inside of the apple. It merely changes the apple's appearance, all of which happens to remain on the outside. After the cut, half of the apple's outside is red and the ha and half... What? And half is white. You can cut all you want desiring to arrive at the inside of the apple, but dissecting never works. Yeah, dissecting never works. You keep getting outsides. The inside and outside of an apple always exist together. You can never separate them. I've been reading for seven minutes. Or imagine you were looking at a basket. You see the outside of the basket and want to view the inside. So you look over the rim and pee. Okay. Um, and peer down at the basket's interior. From this angle, you see the inside. Right? Wrong. Again. Okay. You're looking at the outside that's in... Oh my god, this is so confusing. The surface on the inside of the basket is no different from that on the outside. Both inside and outside are... Okay. Both inside and outside are, are all one piece. This, in this particular instance, the outside that just happens to be on the inside. In the same fashion, all human experience exists in polarity with something else. Nothing has an existence entirely, separate from all ever, from from all else. Every up has a down. Every fast has slow. Every in has an out. Every good has a bad. Ever see popularities as a polarities as a whole. Rather than breaking them down into discrete parts, the synon the synonym the syn. Okay, um, I'm just gonna skip that word. I don't like it. With systems thinking, or hold on, never mind, never mind. According to systems thinking, entities interact with each other in circular patterns rather than in one or cause and effect fashion. One entity will respond. 
Anyways, one entity will respond to the stimulus of another, and the other will react to the response of the first. The, this circular pattern maintains and regulates the interconnection of several entities. If you have ever watched a basketball game, you, you have observed this circular process. A player with the ball moves one way, stimulating a, the defensive player to respond. The defensive player's response will instantly trigger a counter move from the offensive player. This, pl this player's actions spark in an impromptu reaction from the defensive player while all these two players interact w with each other um, interact with each other all the other players on both teams are doing the same thing the action of the player is circular in nature each player continuously reacts to the other's reaction and so forth Cons consequently each player's performance is intelligible only within the context of the player that everyone else of everyone else this characteristic of systemic uh, relationships in system thinking there's a special focus on wholeness this implies a necessary reciprocal relationship between all the parts of the system consider Chopin's Prelude, no, for lovers of classical music often thrill to this masterpiece. Their tendency is to focus on the individual notes. In reality, though, the silent pause, this so, the silent pauses between the notes. are just as necessary for the melody. Without a, the silent pauses, the note would be one undifferentiated uh, music, musical mass. There would be no melody or theme. What is true of prelude? No, for... I don't know what that means. Is true... For is true of every piece and type of music, the sounded notes combine with the silent pauses to create the music. One aspect does not exist without the other. System Systems thinking always considers the interplay and interconnection of related entities. As... An incident reported by several writers illustrates the point. Some diff decades ago in Canada, observers discovered a mystery regarding the population of rabbits and foxes. Several scientists noticed that the rabbit population had declined significantly. At first, the scientists thought the decrease due to illness but no disease could be identified. A few years later, scientists were surprised by an, an inexplicable increase in the rabbit, rabbit population. The mystery was compound, compounded a short time later by another decrease in the population. This enigma became more intriguing when observers discovered that the fox population was okay hold on fluctuating fluctuating yeah. in similar in a similar fashion a report on this phenomenon of rabbit and fox populations was published and by coincidence and and by coincidence another scientist read the report and solved the mystery he noticed that as all the numbers of rabbits diminished the number of foxes increased 
In the same manner, when the fox population decreased, the rabbit population grew. The, the scientists surmised that the increased number of rabbits provided a larger food supply for the foxes, which resulted in a great number of foxes. As the larger numbers of foxes ate the rabbits, their food supply diminished, which ultimately meant that the fox population declined as well. When the fox count diminished, the rabbit rabbit population grew, creating a new food supply for the foxes. This was a self-perpetuating cycle. This er interrelated fluctuations in the rabbit and fox populations provide a model of system systems thinking and the increase and decrease in numbers of rabbits made no sense when they studied when studying in isolation the same was true for the number of foxes yes yet when both were observed in two aspects of the same natural cycle both became understandable for several decades, 16. For several decades, system theory, systems theory had been applied to the families, enhancing the base of knowledge and know how the families work, and the investigating families as systems, which operate like other nat natural systems, enables researchers to discover what makes families fun. Functional and dysfunctional. The system's point or viewpoint also reduces the preo preoccupation with the indiv individual, expanding our focus to the entire family unit. Learning to observe families from a system perspective isn't easy. It probably it, it's probably foreign to the way you've been taught to think. Especially, especially when, with respect to liner cause and effect, the following con concepts define the general characteristics of systems and may help adjust your perspective to this particular way of thinking about families. Wholeness, period. Families, and when I say period, um wholeness period families are more than a collection of individuals who are essentially detached from one another a family system has wholeness nicole's and everett 1986 this means that each family member each fa yeah each family member is emotionally attached to every other member no one is absolutely independent. What influences one member affects all the members in some way. A change in one member's functioning will trigger a shift in the functioning of other members. Based on, the observ on this observation, a system's perspective focuses on behavioral patterns within the family unit. This emphasizes is this emphasis is not only is not on why an individual behaves a certain way, but rather on how particular behavior relates to the behavior of others in the family. A single behave behavior is intelligibly intelligible by itself. It is meaningful only when interpreted within the family as a whole. In family system theory, systems theory, specific behaviors are best understood within the total family system. The, cons, the concept of wholeness is demonstrated by Dave Experiment Experience. Dave is 51 years old. He enjoys a very close relationship with his father while he was alive. They regularly talked on the phone, frequently met each other for dinner, and occasionally attended football games together after Dave's father died of cancer. Oh, that's 
feel bad for him. Uh, died of cancer. Dave attempted to fill the void by developing a closer relationship with his youngest child. A son who is closely re re resembled to Dave's father. His new closeness with his son affected affected Dave's family in several ways. His wife, Betty, became jealous of his cl closer ties with their son, especially, especially when she noticed that Dave distanced a bit more in their own relationship. Consequently, Betty became more remote from the remote from the 15-year-old boy, 16-year-old boy, and in, and increasingly hostile towards Dave. Why? why? <laughs> Just because he's hanging out with his son doesn't mean he hates you. Jesus. <laughs> okay, well, also toward Dave. In response to his mother's aloofness, his father's expectation that they'll do more things together, the son began to resent, to resent having less time for his own friends, but he did not express these feelings to either parent. Out of the ordinary, what's this, what's this? I'm just gonna keep reading. Out of loyalty to his father, his son stopped doing th doing things with his friends and began spending more time around the house, stimulously. I'm just going to call this stimulously. His two sisters got angry with their father because he n neglected them they also became jealous of his closer relationship with their brother. This triggered numerous conflicts between the two sisters and their brother. You will notice from this example that every person in a family was influenced when Dave established a closer relationship with his son. Everyone was affected because a family system possesses wholeness. Although... Although... Although persons in a family are emotionally connected to one another, what affects one, t one what affects one touches everyone. Yeah, the attitudes, feelings, perceptions, and behaviors of the individual members are constantly stimulated by what is going on in the family unit. Uh, no. Okay. Twenty three minutes. Um non in nineteen fifty eight Dolph Rupp I thought this said Rudolph. Dolph Rupp, coach of Kentucky Wildcats, won his third in CAA basketball tournament. The team that won his championship was not made up of particular, particularly talented players. In fact, the five starters were so average in the ability they were called the fiddle, fiddle in five. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. This label came from their coach who remarked Who remarked those boys cer certainly are not clowns. Concert violinists. But they sure can... Okay. Mm -hmm. They sure can fiddle. <laughs> 
During each game of the basketball season, the players appear to f fiddle around. Okay. Fiddle around on the court. They did not always look or play like championship players, yet they finished the season as the best team in the nation. The Fiddle in Five illustrates contact. Okay. Concept of non. S don't know what the word is. I said it when I said the beginning of that sentence. Bye, it's the end of the video. I leave now. I ain't never come back. I ain't never come back. I haven't moved the Sour Patch Kids. Like, I haven't even touched them until now. I still have them. Yeah. Um, please like and subscribe and, you know, show some support. Maybe comment. Comment Little Baby Turtle in the, in the comment. I don't know. It's up to you. I'd really appreciate it though. Love you guys. Okay. One try. Two try.